Good evening, everybody. We're back here in Angel's Kitchen, and tonight I have got an amazing recipe for you. Pretty quick and easy, too. We are making a carbonara with bucatini. I'll explain that as we go. Carbonara is just simply, it's a sauce made with eggs, bacon, and then bucatini is the pasta. So here's what we're going to need. We, of course, are going to need some bacon. We're going to need some cheese. This is preferred with a uh, Parmigiano Reggiano. I couldn't find that tonight. You can also use a um, Romano. Couldn't find that either. What I did find very close to those is an Asiago. And these were in wedges. And then I also found the Parmesan. And you want them in these hard wedges like this. You can find them grated, but it's preferred that you get them like this here and then grate them yourself. Like I've done this here. This here is the Asiago cheese. And I've just grated them up really fine and thin. I use my box grater and I grate them up. This is the Parmesan. All right. The other thing we're going to need is some eggs. I've got six eggs here. We're going to need some finely crushed garlic. I'm going to show you how I crush this. That's what this is right here. It looks almost like a paste. I have just simply have a small grater and I grate it. So I'll show you how I did that. And then alongside of our pasta, I'm going to do a um, California blend vegetables. So that's what this is here. I have... Just simply uh, cut into florets some broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. So we're going to make that. Spices we're going to need tonight are, we're going to need some butter. This is half a cup of wine. This is white wine. Use the wine that you like. I like a sweet wine, so this is a, um, no, my mind just left me. Anyway, I'll come back to that. I'll remember, I'll come back to that. But this is a Moscato. This is a sweet wine. But you can use a dry wine if you like wine, if you like dry wine. If you don't want to use wine, use a chicken broth or a vegetable broth. You're going to need a half a lemon. You're going to need some parsley flakes. Fresh parsley is best for this dish. I didn't have fresh. So we're going to go with the dry. You're going to need some pepper. You're going to need some salt. And of course, this is our bucatini. These pas this bucatini pasta, they're like little straws. So there's holes, a hole running through that pasta where the pasta water gets trapped in. Any sauce you put in it, you put this in, gets trapped inside of your pasta. Oh my goodness. So delicious, y'all. All right, give me a minute. I'm going to meet you over at my cutting board and... Oh, and the bacon, I just cut it up into, you know, little small pieces like that. We're going to fry that up. Meet you over at my cutting board. I'm going to show you how I got my garlic like this here, and then we go ahead and get started. Right, just wanted to show you how I get my garlic all mixed up like this. I've got this cute little handheld grater. It's great for zesting lemons and limes, and literally all I'm doing is grating my garlic. Grate it right on down to the little cord thingy there. And I just use my finger to kind of go back in and get the rest of it. It doesn't exactly paste it, but it does exactly what a garlic pressed press would do, pretty much. So there it is. That's that. All right, I'm going to meet you over at the stove, and we're going to get started. Because basically everything else at this point... It's done at the stove. All right, we're back over here at the stove. I've got the bacon here in the skillet, and I start the bacon with a cold skillet because we want to render out as much of this fat without really crisping the bacon too much. So I got my bacon started. Back here in this pot, I'm going to get our vegetables started. So I'm going to go ahead and get that on. Uh, let's try that again. Go ahead and get that on. There we go. And I've got a little bit of butter in there already. 
It's going to get that melting. And what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Right there. And this is for our vegetable medley. So it's going to do, you know, just a couple of things of salt like that. And then a couple of good turns of our pepper. And what I'm going to do here is start out with our carrots. Because all of these vegetables, although they are delicious together, they cook at different times. So these carrots are going to take the longest to cook. So I'm going to give them a good five minute head start. And then I'll throw in the cauliflower. And then another five minutes or so, we'll put in our broccoli, which takes the least amount of time. So I'm just going to keep that going and get that going there. And the next thing I need to do is separate our eggs while that's doing that. I'm going to stir our carrots with. I want to get those carrots mixed up just a little bit and then put a top on them. Actually, they're fine, just like that. I'm going to put a top on that. Turn the fire down a little bit because I do want them to get started. But I don't want to cook them too fast. Get them steaming a little bit. And I'm going to show you how to separate eggs. This is my handy dandy little. It, it's truly an egg separator. Separate the white from the yolk. So I need... another container. That's okay. I'm going to use this one. We're going to do five egg yolks and one full egg. And that one spilled right over on me. It didn't work like it was supposed to. Like it was supposed to. Come on, baby. Work better for me. And if your handy dandy egg thing don't work, you use your hand. But it does work. I've used this rascal enough to know it does work. But there you go. That's how you separate your eggs. And then I'm going to put the egg yolks right in here. I'm going to do the rest of these off camera. And I'll come back because I need five of these egg yolks. One regular, one full egg. I'll be back. We're back and we've got our carrots. They're ready for me to... They're not fork tender. I just want to get them started. But... I want to get a little bit of moisture down in there. So I've got a little bit of vegetable broth. And I'm just going to put a splash down in there. Just, and that's about all I've got left in there anyway. So there we go. Just, just put it all. There we go. That's all we need. And now I'm going to go ahead and lower the cauliflower down in there. I'm going to let the cauliflower do the very same thing. Let it get started. Just like the carrots did, try to pull some of these carrots to the top and get that cauliflower down to the bottom there is all I'm trying to do. There we go. So it can be touching some of those seasonings. All right, I'm going to put the top on that and let it go for a little bit. If you take a look over here at our bacon, it's getting there. We just want to get that nice and cooked up and you'll see it's rendering its fat real good that's what we want um we don't want it to cook too fast so it's taking its time doing exactly what it's supposed to do all right then we got i've got the pasta water here it's warming up and i'll drop that pasta in just a bit and then i've got our four egg yolks or sorry five egg yolks and one full egg down in there and what that's for the more yolk you have, the creamier your sauce is going to be. So that's why I only have one full egg in there. And that one egg is going to help fluff it a little bit. But I want the creaminess. So that's that. I'll come back when we are just about ready to move forward a little bit more. I'm really just waiting on the bacon right now. As soon as that bacon gets done and this water boils so I can drop the pasta... Then things will move pretty quickly from there. All right, I'll be back. I'm just taking a peek down in. 
see how we're doing here. Give it a stir. And yeah, we're not ready for our broccoli just yet, but we will be here soon. And at the rate we're going here, I'll have my pasta done before I have my veggies done. So, but that's okay. Patience. Patience in the kitchen is the key. What I'm going to show you now is I'm going to go ahead and whisk up these egg yolks. And then we're going to add our cheese to this egg, no, egg yolk. This is such a fun and interesting recipe. If you don't know about a carbonara, it's a very Italian dish. It's absolutely delicious. These egg yolks and the cheese become sauce for the pasta. All right, give me one second. Let me grab our cheese. All right. And we've got both kinds of cheeses. And I'm just going to dump almost all of this cheese. Seriously, guys. It's like, it's so much cheese. But, you know, you've got to be a lover of cheese. And I am a lover of cheese, let me tell you. Wow, that is... I am going to have to use my... My this. There we go. There we go. Oh, boy. Look at that. Look at that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the pasta water to temper this. And that just simply means we pour in the pasta water. After the pasta gets done, we pour in some pasta water to start bringing these eggs up to temperature so that they don't scramble. And then we add it to our bacon, <laughs> and it becomes sauce. Just sauce. All right, y'all, take a look at this. Our bacon. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. That is beautiful. All right, since our pasta is not ready, I'm going to turn this bacon off, take it off of the heat. I will drain a lot of that oil. We don't need all that oil. We need some of it, but not all of it. All right, so, yep, I'll be back. You're back. I am getting ready to add our broccoli in. And after adding the broccoli, I'm going to put a couple more packs of, ba of um, yeah, bacon, no, of butter right on in there and get some more seasoning going to the top of this. And this is where I'm going to put a little bit more pepper. A little bit more salt and then a squeeze of that lemon juice this is where the lemon juice comes in or the lemon comes in and I'm doing this over my hand because you see those seeds I don't want those seeds down in there a nice little bit of fresh squeezed lemon down in your veggies it just brightens up the veggies that's it the rest of that's going to go into our carbonara sauce all right, I'm gonna put the top on that. And it's time to drop our pasta. So, a good handful of salt. And I do mean a good one. I want this nice and seasoned up. You see that? What they say is, for your pasta, you want your, your pasta water as salty as the sea. So, I'm going to go ahead now and drop our pasta. This is a 12-ounce package of the Bucatini. It does not have to be Bucatini. Um, but I found these, and I have been wanting to try this Bucatini pasta for the longest. I don't know if you're able to tell. It's hard for me to even tell. So I don't know if you can. But these have little holes. It's like a straw. If I were to suck on this, I could suck it up just like a straw. So I am excited about these. So I'm going to use this whole 12 ounce package. Go ahead and drop it right down in the water. Just like so. Oh my word, y'all. I am so excited for this dish. Okay, I'm going to grab my tongs and give these a little bit of a swirl around and I'll be back. We're moving on. We're back, guys. The pasta is just about done. It's doing what it needs to do. 
So I'm reheating the bacon, and if you'll see here, I have taken out most of the oil. Not all, because we need some of it to make our sauce with, but that's about all I've got left. And then we got all those bits there. Now, I don't mind the bits turning my, my sauce, you know, a little bit of, you know, getting some brown bits in my pasta. But the reason you cook your bacon really low and slow is so you don't get all those bits down in your skillet. So you want to use a non-stick skillet um, and keep from getting all those little bits in there and it will not turn your, uh, your sauce. It won't have these little specks in it. I don't mind the specks. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with our garlic. And that, guys, was, if I didn't say already, that was actually four cloves of garlic. Okay, I'm going to go and get that all mixed around with our bacon until it gets really fragrant, which, you know, will not take long. That won't take long at all for that to happen. Then... We're going to go in with our, our wine. And remember, you can use a vegetable broth or a chicken broth. It does not have to be the wine. And you use the wine that you like to drink. Um, this recipe actually calls for a dry wine, but I don't like dry wine. It calls for a dry white wine. I don't like dry wine. So I use a Moscato because that's what I like to drink. And the reason that is is because even though you're cooking out the alcohol in the wine, you're still left with that exact flavor. So if you don't enjoy that flavor drinking it, you're not going to enjoy it eating it. So that's why you want to make sure you use a wine that you enjoy drinking. Or again, go to your chicken broth or your vegetable broth. Okay, that's smelling real good. Going in with a half a cup of wine. And again, the wine actually is optional. You do not have to use any wine or any chicken broth. Um, actually, I don't believe it's traditional, to be honest with you. Um, but the first time I tried this is actually a recipe that I had gotten a while back from Rachel Ray and Rachel Ray likes using wine and so I like it with the wine all right I'm gonna let that go and let that reduce a little bit you can see here our pasta is just about ready and that's really what I'm trying was timing it for I don't want to drain my pasta necessarily so I want my pasta ready when my sauce is ready. So all I'm doing with this here is I'm gonna taste this pasta to see if it's done. Mm -hmm. It is done enough. So I'm gonna turn it down. I'm not gonna turn it off, it's not mushy yet, not by any means, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is, get that off of there. I'm watching my that's beautiful. Just watching that, I'm going to turn that up just a little bit because I just want to burn that off. Things are moving along beautifully right now. All right, let me let that go for just one minute, guys. Maybe even half a minute, and I'll be right back, and we'll get moving. Back. I've got it reduced right where I want it. The rest of that lemon that I didn't put in our vegetables, I'm going to put in here. Again, using my hand so I can catch any seeds. I'm pretty sure we got all of our seeds out already. That's just, again, just going to brighten up the dish a little bit. All right. Now, while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead over here. And I'm going to grab some of this pasta water. And we're going to temper our eggs. This is our eggs and our cheese. Remember that? So the way I'm going to do that is you want to pour slowly. And because I am right-handed, I'm going to switch hands here. So I can stir and pour. You just want to stir and pour slowly. 
All I'm doing now is I'm bringing those eggs up to temperature so that I can add them to the bacon and the garlic and the wine without scrambling my eggs. I don't want scrambled eggs here. I want a nice sauce. So you see how that's becoming a sauce? It's coming liquidy. And that pasta water is it's starchy. So that's going to help thicken it up also. It's also salty. So there's a lot of our salt flavors. That's why there's no salt. We got bacon over there. We got this salty pasta water. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. There we go. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and add this in to our bacon mixture. Or our bacon and broccoli. Or bacon and <laughs> garlic. Bacon, garlic, wine, and lemon. That's what this is right here. We're going to go ahead and add this down in there. Okay, and then we're going to throw our pasta right on top of there. Let's get that pasta added in right now. And this is where it all just comes right together. And that's why I say I did want to drain my pasta. I want to go ahead and put my pasta right on over there with any pasta water that follows it. That's okay. And we get this beautiful sauce that's made around this pasta. All righty. There we go. And all I'm going to do, once I get all that pasta down in there, yeah, baby, pull that in there. All right, take our tongs. And just, just pull that. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn our fire off. And this is it. This is carbonara and bocatini. I'm going to get my dry parsley, put some parsley on there, and I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, if it gets a little too thick on you, which, you know, you can choose to like it this thick, or you can choose to thin it out a little bit. And all you do is, again, a little bit of your pasta water. Okay? But it's supposed to look just like this. It's not a saucy dish. This is it. Right here. All right, I'm going to check on our, our veggies. Get those done. And I'm going to make us a plate and give this a taste. All right, guys. Here we are, the finished product. I cannot wait to taste this. I'm telling you, I am so, so excited about this. Look at this. Bocatini noodles, I'm going to let you know if I get a pop <laughs> of that sauce right down on the inside there. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It just makes such a creamy sauce around it. All right. I'm hoping not to, not to burn my mouth, so here we go. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm. Wow, it is creamy, it's nutty. Let me get a piece of bacon. You know, I have some more pasta with my bacon. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again for you guys. I have to. Oh my goodness. You guys have got to try this. This is absolutely amazing. It's so creamy. Just a little bit salty. You can taste that hint of lemon that's in there the garlic sets it off don't skip the garlic you need that we'll try that carrot mm. the vegetables are absolutely perfect and they are a great addition to this because this is a little bit of a heavy meal it's a heavy dish should i say the pasta and the cheese and the bacon it's a little heavy delicious though but you do need those vegetables to offset it all right, guys, again, a home run. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload one of these amazing recipes. I'm telling you, I'm going to keep them coming. 
But keep telling your friends, your family, share my videos on your social media. Get the word out there. We're now at 22 subscribers. We're going for that 100. We still got that fun event. It, it's, on the, it's on the table. It's coming. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Stay prayed up. Good night.